we're going to go over solving equations and have brackets involved. So if you guys recall, remember we had brackets, we had to do something with distributive property, where we multiply the number on the outside by both the numbers on the inside. So we're going to expand this first, then collect terms. So this is one extra step on top of what we did before. So in this way, we have a bracket multiplied by positive 5. Okay? I need to multiply both of the numbers within the bracket by positive 5. I also have a negative sign. What number do we assume is there? Right. So this is like multiplying negative 1 by both numbers inside of the bracket. So we have to make sure to distribute this number to both terms inside. So in our first one, what is 5 times y? 5y. What is negative 3 times 5? Negative 15. Good. The negative 1 times y? Negative y. Good. And negative 1 times negative 2? Positive 2. Good. Our next step is to collect our like terms. What are our like terms here? 5y and negative y. And negative y. Good. What else? Good. So those are our like terms. There is another. 19. That's right. 19 is a like term of negative 15, 2, and well, 19. They're all constants. Okay. These are all just numbers with no variables. These ones have variables attached. Since a lot of people have already asked me, does it matter what side of the equation the variable's on? They're not. And because we did two examples on the left, this will a little more work, but I'm going to put all of the variables on the right and all of the constants on the left. And when we talk about left and right, we mean left and right of the equal sign. Okay? So it's a little more work. I'm going to try to do two in one step. I need to move 5y and negative y to the other side. What will positive 5y become? And what will negative y become? Okay, good. In that same step, I would like to move 19 to the left. What will it become? That's right. It'll be a negative. Okay, so this 5y becomes negative. Five. This negative y becomes positive, And this 19 becomes negative. So there's three movements here. I want you to try to follow along. The 15 is staying. We have negative 15. The positive 2 is staying. We have positive 2. The 19 is coming over and it's becoming negative 19. Why don't we just... The 5y is going to the other side. It's becoming what? Negative 5y. And the negative y is moving over. What is it becoming? Positive. So the reason I did this, it doesn't technically matter, and it probably would have been easier if we just kept all of our variables on this side and then moved our yes. constants to the right. But I wanted to show you that it doesn't matter what side the variables on. So our next step is to collect all of our like terms. Negative 5y plus y will become what number? What's in front of this y? Hey, wait, what? One. one. So what's negative 5 plus 1? Negative 4. Negative 4. That's good. Okay. Now, we're going to collect three terms at once here. Actually, you guys want, yeah. I'm going to, because we're running out of room, I'm going to do it all in one step. Negative 15 plus 2. 17. Negative 13. 13. Negative 13 minus 19. Negative 32. Negative 32. 32. Good. Very good. Okay. Still one more step. We haven't isolated for y yet, so I need to isolate just for this y, which means I need to move what to the other side? Negative 4. So this is a negative using multiplication. To move this to the other side, I have to use what? Division. Division. And what will I divide by? Negative 4. Okay. So y will become what number? What is negative 32 divided by negative 4? 8. Okay. A lot of steps to this one. Our next one even has an extra. Yes, yeah. In our next example, we start off the exact same way. Don't worry, nothing stops here. I'll just pause it. Okay, so this is another distributive property type question, which means we need to distribute the number 2, because this is 2 times the bracket, to each of the terms inside the bracket. We need to multiply this bracket, both terms by 2. We'll have to do the same on the other side. We have negative 3 times 
x and negative 3 times 5. Do I multiply negative 3 times negative 6? Uh, no, why not? It's not inside the brackets, okay? So let's expand the brackets first and then start to collect our like terms. 2 times x will become 2x. 2 times negative 3? 6. Okay, then we put our equal sign. Negative 3 times x? Negative 3 times 5? Great. And we still have negative 6, okay? This time I'm going to work with variables on the left. So, my like terms are 2 and negative 3x, or 2x and negative 3x. And our other like terms, blue and blue, are negative 6, negative 15, and negative 6. Good. I want to move all my variables to the left. So our negative 3x, when I move it to the left, what does it become? That's right. And I need to move all of my constants to the right. So my negative 6, when I move it to the right, it becomes... Positive six. Good. So our new lines will read 2x plus 3x, yeah, plus 3x is equal to negative 15 minus 6. And then what does this negative 6 become? Positive 6. Great. Let's collect our like terms. 2x and 3x are 5x. Okay, remember we're adding those coefficients. And here, what is negative 6 and positive 6? 0. So what does this become? Great. Are we finished? What do we have to do? That's right. We have to isolate for x, so we have to divide by what term? So to move the 5 to the other side, we need to divide. So it becomes negative 15 divided by 5. What is x equal to? Negative. That one we did a bit, did a bit 